Hi, welcome to join us today is a new moon Earth Guardian gathering meditation. And uh, we have uh, Linda here. We have Luis. We have uh, Jennifer. And we also have our friend from Taiwan, Elena. Yay. Hi, everyone. Okay, in the background, we're playing the, we are doing the slideshow of the photos uh, from Mount Shasta. <laughs> because uh, Elena and I were working on the Four Equinox retreat. The group will be in from Taiwan and we will be here uh, for about 17, 18 days. And we're gonna stay in Mount Shasa for a week. And then we're gonna uh, drive by the uh, Lake Tahoe, Ziyang uh, National Park and stop by Antelope Canyon and then Grand Canyon and stay a few days in Sedona. And uh, on the way back, we're gonna stop by Joshua Tree uh, National Park. And then uh, I'm gonna take them to visit Apple Visitor Center since they are here so close. And then so, and after that, they, they'll, they'll go back to Taiwan on 3rd of October. So we already have uh, like an uh, AP poll sign up. Oh, and good. This time we are going to have 11 people, including me, and then we're going to do this. So this will be my coming back, uh, coming back retreat, the first one, coming back to do a retreat, the first one, you know. Okay, we're going to, when you leave Mount Shasta, are we going to do a sweat? Uh, I'm going to discuss with the uh, Elena later, and then uh, we'll let you know. Yeah, we'll let you know, because our time is kind of a, uh, very limited, but yes. we do spend more time, more days in Mount Shasta. So uh, we're going to work on it and then I'll keep you posted. I'll, I'll discuss with you. Okay. And okay. So today uh, I was guided about a couple of days ago and we're going to do a group healing uh, for Luis because uh, He's uh, uh, experiencing some like a, uh, you know, physical condition that uh, most people in in his age now, not most people, like some of the people in his age now will probably have the same or similar situation. So uh, before I go further, I would like to uh, ask Luis to kind of tell us what's your physical condition now and then what's your challenge right now? And then what are you working on it to get your, to get, uh, to get better? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Yixing. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, good, good. So <clears throat> in August of 2022, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, which is a condition that affects the brain. There's a part of the brain called the the substantia nigra that creates a chemical called dopamine, which helps to control the body. Well, apparently when the cells of substantia nigra stop functioning properly, it doesn't produce the dopamine and the body becomes somewhat uncontrollable with tremors and many other symptoms. There's 39 different symptoms of this disease. <clears throat> so I'm on a self-healing journey um, I'm not taking the, the the doctors don't know what causes it they don't they don't know don't know don't know what cures it so they give medication for it to cover up the symptoms and that's not something I'm interested in I don't I don't want to cover the symptoms I want to find the cause and the cure so I'm on a, a self healing journey and that means many many that means many different protocols are used ten of them are, are first of all meditation. Number one is meditation. Number two is positive thinking. Number three is self-love and self-care. Number number four is simplicity and mindfulness. Number five is nature. Number six is gratitude. Number seven is decluttering. Number eight is harnessing the power of the subconscious mind. Number nine is so the, the limitations and opportunities of modern medicine and number 10 is empowering and self-healing. 
those are, those, are, those, are, those are the 10 things I'm doing and following to uh, to find the cause and the cure of this disease and just be done with it. So I, I, I walk every day. I take yoga, yoga, yoga classes two, two, three, or four times a week, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> or I'm able to drive. And I'm just trying to learn the lessons that this experience has to teach me. And when Yijing suggested a healing group, uh, I'm open to that because I think <clears throat> I think one of the lessons of this disease for me is to be open to, to healing, to, uh, to, to receive. I've been a giver most much of my life. I have to learn how to receive. So I'm op I'm totally open up to, to the love and the healing, the healing and the compassion that comes my way from from Yiching's generous idea. Thank you so much, all of you. Okay, great. Thank you. And uh, so I also want to talk about these uh, uh, chronicle sickness and symptoms. Uh, because later I'm going to do a guided meditation. We're going to go into your Akasha record and then we're going to rewrite your blueprint. And before that, I want to share that as a light worker like us, we are actually having these kind of signals, different kind of signals or symptoms. We are actually uh, take the load of Mother Earth. Okay. So when you come to the earth, before you came, you already signed up for this part of the journey as a Parkinson disease, then because <clears throat> you are sharing part of a mother earth load of like a uncomfortable or, you know, shaking or whatever the humanity or people <laughs> that they did the damage or they, they make the impact on the mother earth. And we are actually, as a light worker, that we are actually sharing those loads. So, you know, each individual, so we may have a different, you know, uh, a chronic disease from, you know, uh, when the time comes. So I hope that you understand that not only you are, uh, going through this, a lot of uh, light worker also going through different kind of uh, uh, sickness because we are sh we are taking off the load of Mother Earth. So that's very important. But at this time of your life, you already experience that this is in your life. But uh, I was guided to do this uh, guided meditation so we can go in and then to. <laughs> Uh, to tap into your Akashi record. And then uh, meanwhile, we can rewrite your blueprint. So you can uh, upgrade your DNA, upgrade your blueprint. So we, we, can, uh, we can see the much uh, obvious progress on your end or on, on any other light worker that experience a similar situation. So <clears throat> That's what I was guided to share with you. So it there's a, a higher me purpose behind whatever you're experiencing right now. So, you know, uh, use a higher perspective to look at this, uh, this time of your life, uh, you're going through this particular uh, experience. So that way you can get a better idea that not just focus on you, you're actually uh, focus on the uh, mother so we can get healed all together and we can help each other all together by meditation, by group healing, by uh, sharing our love and light uh, among, you know, among all of us. Okay, so that's what I, sh I, I like to share with everyone here. And uh, now we're going to, so 
Linda, can you uh, light the sage and then uh, do a little bit cleansing right now for everyone? So while Linda is doing this for us, so uh, let's get prepared. Start taking deep breath and then center yourself. So I have sage in here and I have bay and I have um, stuff from Peru that um, is bringing in the sweetness of, of all of this. That's great. Thank you. So continue to take deep breath. Yeah. Center ourselves. Okay. Okay, let's take another deep breath and close your eyes. Focus on your heart and also focus on your third eye chakra. And also focus on your throat chakra. Take another deep breath. Now we are going to a pyramid. We are now in front of a pyramid. Any pyramid that you've been to physically or in your dream time. We are at the base of a pyramid. There's a door open up for us, each individual, each individual of us. We might go into a different pyramid, but it's okay. Slowly you walk in. You see the steps. You climb up to the steps. On the second floor, you saw there, there's a room with all the books, like a library. There's a light coming to, coming through, shining in front of you. There's no specific area that you might be there. Just follow the light. So stop where the light is. There's a bookshelf in front of you, very tall. You saw there's a name, a book name. Your name is on one of the book, one of the books. This book is shining and the glowing, so you won't miss it. It's your Akashic records. All the past life, present life, and future life, all the information, all the data, all the records, they're all inside. You pick up the book and open up. Start reading, going through. Might be quickly, might be slowly. It's okay. Take your time.
So stop there. This is the present time of your life. You've been through many, many life experiences and the many life lessons. There's a one or two or maybe more than two life lessons that you may not quite understand completely. Use your finger pointed to that life experience and trace back. when and where and why it caused that life lesson or experience that you cannot overcome. So you may have to uh, turn the page pages back to find the origin of that life experience or event so you can read it or you can you can put your palm on the page and then use your heart to feel it to see it use your third eye to review So you can understand, you, you will be able to realize and also you can learn how to overcome by knowing the cause, cause the root cause. You can just sit down on the chair just behind you so you can be more focused going through this process. Feel more comfortable. You can simultaneously work on just one life lesson or multiple life lessons. So here, we'll give you a little bit time. So take your time and go through it and see with your third eye, feel with your heart. And be able to express truly, you can communicate with the book, with your Akashi record, asking question. That's why we focus on third eye, throat chakra, and the heart chakra when we first came in. Remember to take deep breath so the energy can go through your crown chakra and then all the way spread it out into your entire body. So you may see a green emerald color of energy. That's a healing energy, abundance and balance. Coming down and uh, going through your entire body. Trigger the healing that you needed at this moment the most. You feel this energy. Coming down from the roof, from the tip of the pyramid, coming down inward, because we are inside of a pyramid. Now we feel a pink, 
ping energy coming down. It's unconditional love. Coming down, going through your entire body, wrap you around. You feel this unconditional love from the source, from God, from within ourselves. Continue to breathe in this uh, emerald energy and the uh, pink energy. Breathe in and exhale with the energy or vibration no longer resonate with you. And send those energy out and then send it into the light with love. Now you can feel there's a blue, royal blue energy coming down and going through your entire body from your crown chakra all the way down to your root chakra. So you were, you were infused with this blue, royal blue energy. This energy will give you the communication, give you the courage, speak the truth, and true to yourself. Not just in your thought, but also in your communication. Also, color of the brave, courage. It's okay to ask for help, ask for support from others. We are here for each other. Breathing this uh, royal blue energy and then let go of the fear. Let go of the hesitation. Let go of the insecure. And send them into the light with your love. So now, slowly, we finish this process. You can close your book, Akasha book, and then put it back to where it, where you pick it up. You're standing up with a prayer precision, and then show your gratitude. to your Akashic records, Akashic book. Okay, now we take another deep breath. We're going back where the stair is and continue to climb up to the third floor Or maybe top four.
And this is where your soul mates, your support team in a higher di dimension. They're here to meet you, to consult with you. you they greet you and then you greet back. There might be some familiar faces or energy and maybe some unfamiliar energy, vibration or faces. But they are all your soulmates, support team from the higher up. So there's a long table in front of everyone. Now they open up your blueprint of this life. The time, the minute that when you are born on the earth to right now, and of course, continue. So right now, you're in front of your blueprint, you're looking at from the beginning And you can see, review all your life again on, up until this moment. So you got better idea of how your life will be coming up. You review your life. You see some of your lessons. greatly success in some lesson you may not understand or you want to make adjustment. So this is a time to consult with your soulmates, your support team here, that if we can rewrite your physical condition, ask, and communicate. You see your soul mission, you may have a lot more thing to do not complete yet on the, on the earth. Request a better physical condition so you can continue to do your work on the mother earth for the humanity, for the co collective consciousness. Take a deep breath. You need to digest a lot of uh, information right now is for you to determine, to decide. Letting go of the O's Letting go of the uh, family experiences that passed down on you, family karma that passed down on you, if they are no longer resonating with your current vibration, we can ask to remove and rewrite.
Focus on your communication through chakra, very important at this moment. Speak up, speak the truth. There's no need to be afraid. You deserve the best. You deserve healthy and strong lifestyle. You deserve everything and anything supporting you continue your journey to share your light and your love to the world. Take a deep breath, breathe in all the abundance, all the possibilities, and breathe out. Take another deep breath, breathe in the healthy and courage, the vitality. and breathe out. So in this room, there's a cross just laid up and shining on your blueprint on the table, on this long table. You can feel the energy infuse into you as well as into your blueprint. They're rewriting for you per your request. In the meantime, you can see, you can feel the change in your body, in your life already. And you can possibly see the future as well. Take a deep breath, breathe in all the lights, all the change or adjustment they just made for you, for your blueprint. Oh, now I saw, I feel the uh, Master Sarisape show up and came to you, came to you in front of the table, in front of your blueprint. He hold it, he holds a, a staff with a crystal ball on the top of the staff. And then using that crystal ball, using his staff and crystal ball, go through your blueprint. And you can see and feel the energy going, coming out from the crystal ball and into your blueprint. Enhance and infuse the higher frequency vibrations and energy into you and your blueprint. Take a deep breath. So well, now this session is complete.
you are in we are in prayer position and then we thank all of the soulmates and supporting here masters angels now we're going back and going down going going back to the steps stairs and going down and to where we came in. So we walk out the door. Herman is behind us. And we turn around and bow to the pyramid and everything there. And then thank and then grateful and gratitude. Now you're slowly coming back to your body. Take a deep breath. Completely go back completely back in your body. Take another deep breath. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you. Take your time. I know some people don't want to come back. Okay, take another deep breath. <clears throat> so new moon is our new beginning. We set out the new intention. And that's what we do today is let go of the old and uh, open up for new. So if anybody would like to share the Guided meditation session, you're welcome to. I would like to thank you, all of you, especially you, I Ching, for that beautiful guided meditation. I was totally open to it. And <clears throat> as light workers, We've come together to open up new portals. So gratitude and appreciation to all, to everyone. That's my message. Very good, thank you. Anyone else would like to share? Elena, you want to say something? Chinese, <笑><笑> 
，然后虽然你全程都用英文，可是我的灵魂竟然听得懂哎、欸，我知道你在带打七度，然后还有要看灵魂蓝图。哦，真的哦 ，OK， 对对， so, 因为有些有一些地方我刚好听得懂，然后我就知道哦，好像那个哎、欸、那个能量就是带我要去那个地方，对，然后就是有感受到那个。那个阿卡西记录里面那个灵魂蓝图，好像就是也是在告诉我说，就是要爱自己，而且就是就是跟这个世界分享那种爱自己的方式，然后以及就是呃去展现自己的神性，然后并且去带领人们去看见他们的神性，对，然后就是带着更多的仁慈这样子，嗯、okay. yeah. yeah. Elena said,、uh, "The guided meditation was very deep. She went very deep, and even like nodding off her body, like、uh, moving toward、uh, forward, and then she tried to pull back. And then, even though I speak English, guided meditation in English, some of the words she can understand. So she actually, you know, follow all the way." You know, like a Akashi record, like a, a blueprint, and then the message she got was the、uh, share share our light, and you know, with more compassion, and then、uh, use our、uh, own way to share with other people. So also help them to find their 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 true. Uh, self love, self love. Okay, self love was the、uh, a key a word, a key word. So, help other people to find how to self love, and then by sharing with them how you self love yourself. Yeah. So I think that's very powerful. I believe. Yeah. So thank you, Elena, for sharing with us. Okay. Any other people? Any other? So if not, we th- I think we can uh you know, end it the、uh, this session today. How about that? So yes, thank you so much. And we will see you, yeah, next time. Bye bye. Bye.